Good morning, Woodstock Christian School. I'm excited to find out what kind of day it is today. I'm about to open the curtains. So here we go, let's find out. Wow, a beautiful sunny day. I'm excited to get outside and enjoy God's creation and do some physical activity. Hope you can too. There are so many reasons to stay physically active and I think sometimes we forget some of them and I want you to just pause the video for a moment and think of two or three reasons why we should stay active and exercise. So go ahead and do that now. Right on, okay, so maybe you said something along the lines of staying healthy or, or um, making your, your muscles stronger. Both are definitely true. And if we, be, we get a little more specific, we can think of reasons like making your joints stronger as well and your bones and your heart stronger and your heart is actually a muscle that needs to keep pumping all your life. And um, there are many more reasons as well. Some, some others that come to mind are it actually improves your memory. Um, it, uh, it improves your mood as well. You might have had that before where you start exercising and then a few moments later you're feeling much better and you're in a better mood. It actually reduces stress, uh, which is really important. And actually there are more reasons than those and I'm going to provide a list for you now. outside here I'm ready to get going I think I'm gonna cut the grass play uh, some uh, different activities with my kids maybe go to the park play some soccer uh, get my heart rate up get my lungs working and so yeah here we go on your mark get set Okay, so now we come to the soccer part of this video. Here's some equipment that you'll need. It does not have to be four soccer balls. It can be just one or two or three or whatever you have. Uh, and it does not have to be pylons either. It can be whatever objects you might have that you could use, um, such as water bottles or hats or chairs or whatever works for you. Um, so here's a little list for you. Before you do any strenuous activity involving sprinting or shooting the ball really hard, um, make sure you warm up. So you can see that I'm doing that now. Be sure to choose exercises that are light and easy. Just gradually get into your physical activity. Um, this will allow your body to warm up slowly, your muscles to loosen up slowly and it will prevent injury. That's the main reason why we warm up in the first place is to to prevent injuries like spraining an ankle or pulling a muscle or straining a muscle. Um, it happens quite often when our muscles are cold and, and, and tight and if you loosen them up and get them ready beforehand you'll likely have a better experience and also um, it allows you to perform better too. 
So uh, you will be able to kick the ball harder. You'll be able to kick the ball farther. You will be able to um, be more accurate because everything is ready to go and your body has gotten used to physical activity after resting for a while. So I really encourage you to take it seriously and to, to make sure that you warm up. You'll have a better experience. So I'm going to fast forward now through these exercises. You can pause the video, you can re-watch the video to learn different uh, warm-up activities. But I'm going to fast forward to the drills now. All right, now we come to the part of the video where you are going to be learning how to hit a long ball. Very valuable as a defender, clearing your lines and getting it out of your half or sending a forward on a breakaway or sending it to the other side of the field. Um, but this skill takes practice, uh, as does any skill in soccer. But if you keep at it and you, um, you learn the technique, you don't even have to have a very strong leg um, for, for hitting the ball really far. Um, so I'm going to be showing you some slow motion shots of, of these long balls. And All right, in slow motion here, you can see that I'm taking a few steps away from the ball, going on a 45 degree angle. Don't run right straight on at the ball. Go to the side a bit. Then you're going to take your steps, plant your non-kicking foot beside the ball. You're going to lean slightly to the left if you're if you're right footed that is in and, and slightly leaning back um, if you lean back and you lean away from the ball um, then you're going to be able to kick the ball high and far um, there's a few points to to note about making contact with the ball um, and I'll talk about those now when you make contact you want to point your toe away from the ball and downward diagonally and you want to make contact with your laces and the part of your laces that is slightly uh, more towards your toe hitting the center or just under center of the ball um, will make will make the ball go far and high if you hit too far under the ball, under the center of the ball, the ball will end up going really high and you're going to be doing more of a chip, but it won't go very far. Alright, so that is the long ball and the best way, a reminder, the best way to get good at this skill is to get out onto the field and practice. There's no better way than experimenting and trying it yourself. Um, that's how you can get good at these skills. All right, drill number two is control, speed dribble, and shoot. You're gonna be throwing the ball into the air. You're gonna control it as best you can. Do a 180 turn. You're gonna speed dribble or sprint dribble. You're gonna cut in towards the net and pass it or shoot it toward your target. This is a great drill because there are multiple skills at play. You're practicing controlling the ball out of the air, speed dribbling, cutting in, and shooting or passing to your target. 
So remember, there are so many reasons why we should stay physically active. Pick some activities and have fun practicing. I hope you learned a few things from this video.